Let's start with that brain-eating amoeba. It's not something to panic over. In the last 58 years, there's only been 37 cases confirmed by the Department of Health. The top four diseases experts look for in Florida, red tide, blue-green algae, brown algae, and, and Vibrio vulnificus. And these diseases can be broken down to two groups, cyanobacteria and entrococci. Cyanobacteria is what forms algae blooms. When people are exposed, they can get skin rashes, a sore throat, a cough, nausea, vomit, diarrhea, or even kidney or liver damage. Enteric bacteria are spread through feces and can cause inflammation and blood infections. That's according to the EPA. The EPA watches enterococci because they are connected to swimming-related illnesses. They also have found enteric bacteria are less likely to die off in salt water. Luckily, the EPA says these aren't very serious illnesses. This is pretty dense information, but there are simple ways to stay safe. Check water advisories before you leave. Don't get in the water if you have a cut or open wound. If you see an algae bloom, avoid it. Don't go near it. And simply be sure to wash your hands often.